Everybody's talking about kimchi these days. It's very popular. It's the in thing to be eating. It's very good for you. Got a lovely spicy flavor. It's really adds zing to anything you're making. So the base of kimchi is Napa cabbage. This is Napa cabbage. I've cut it in half here because I've already got half of it salted. So what we want to do is remove any of the bad leaves on the outside and then we're going to cut this up. I want to cut it into one and a half inch long chunks, like so. Put them into a bowl. So we're just going to check for any uh, bad pieces. There's something bad inside. There's little black dots sometimes that appear. Now what we want to do is salt this cabbage really well. So I'm going to put about a third of a cup of kosher salt and mix it all together. You can't really put too much salt at this stage. We're going to rinse it once it's wilted and done its magic. We salt the cabbage to create a brine to, um, and this kills some of the bacteria. What we don't kill by doing that is the bacteria that helps the cabbage ferment. It's called lactobacillus and uh, this is what creates the fantastic flavor. After a couple of hours, this is what happens. The cabbage gets quite soft and wilted and uh, uh, liquid comes out and this just starts the whole process. So now we're going to add the flavoring ingredients. But first we have to wash the salt brine off of the cabbage. I'm going to take some fresh ginger and I'm going to put this on the rasp. I'm going to grate it on the rasp. Actually, it's easier to do it flat on the table like this. So I go across the grain. I'm going to get a nice ginger pulp. Okay, take this nice pulp and put it in the bowl. It's intense, you don't need a lot. Now I've got some garlic. Same thing. Make a nice pulp with that. I'm going to take some sugar. And a teaspoon of sugar. Chilies. You can make this as hot as you want. I'm going to make it about that hot. If you add a teaspoon of chilies, it'll be mild. If you add a tablespoon or more, you're going to get spicy, spicy. These are jalapenos. I'm going to throw those in too. You can add cauliflower, daikon radish, cucumber, all sorts of things. You can even add some fruit um, and different kinds of chilies, fresh chilies, dried chilies. You can play around with this. The most important thing is the cabbage and the way you start. Everything else is just adding flavor to it. I'm going to add a little bit of fish sauce, which I think people quite like. It's like anchovies in your Caesar salad dressing. You don't know that it's there, but it adds this wonderful note. So we'll mix this together. Like so. Uh, we'll add the drained, rinsed Napa. And I'm going to add some carrot, julienne carrot. Just about that much. And I'm going to add some chives. This adds a nice little green, green flecks of oniony flavor. So now what we want to do is mix this all together. We're going to pack the jar with the kimchi mixture. So I'm just going to pack it in there. And I want to press it down. The moisture that comes out will actually create a brine that will cover all of this. Really press it down. I don't want to completely close it because it's going to let off some gas as the kimchi starts to ferment. Little bubbles will come up. And each day, you're going to press this down. You want to try and keep it submerged in the brine. And it gets stronger every day. It'll take between one and five days to ferment. When it reaches the flavor that you like, then you can close it up, put it in the fridge, and keep it in the fridge for several weeks. So that's how you make kimchi.